marshmallow12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use PHP to unzip a zip file that has been uploaded to the server. So first of all, if um, I've just got a blank page up here and in Dreamweaver just a blank page here. So what I'm going to do first is just create a simple form. So form action and that's going to be uh, back to this page, so index.php. Um, the method post and um, we need to put an enc type onto this because we're dealing with um, files so multi, multi part slash form dash data slash form ok and in this we're just going to put a simple um, file upload so file name this um, file and that's all we need I think so input type equal to submit um, name submit and um, we're going to put a value of extract instead of upload we're going to say extract alright so now on to php Um, what we want to first say is if if is set dollar underscore post submit so if the submit button has been pressed then what we basically need to do is um, put the file into an array and what the this array will do is split up the the file name from the extension. So basically, what we can say is just array equals explode. Uh, just put it like that. So we want to explode a dot from dollar underscore files um, file and name. So basically. It will get when a file gets uploaded, um, the name basically says the file dot extension. So what we're going to do is split up the file name from the extension. If you sort of know what I mean. Um, so basically, now what we can say is the file name um, is equal to array, um, and it's the first um, one in the array. Now you'll probably get problems with this if um you have say a dot in the file name as well say you have something like this dot is dot a dot you know what i mean something like that but what are the chances of that happening so um just to keep this simple um i'm going to do it this way but um you may need to think about that as dots may appear in the actual um file name and um, so now what we can say is the file extension is str um, to lower this basically just uh, so say if because um, some people have file have extensions as capitalized and um, some people don't most people don't but some people do capitalize extensions so we have so if a um, a file has been uploaded that has got a capitalized extension then what we can do is convert this to lowercase um, so we can deal with it and then we need to put end in here and this end basically and I'm just fill this in end of the array this basically goes to the last value of the array which in our case um, is the uh, the file extension which is why we're putting this in a file extension variable um, basically the end will go to the, the end, the last value in the array, which um, is almost every time going to be the file extension. So now we can say if file extension um, equals zip, that's why we needed the two lower, you could do something like R and then put zip in capitalized or something but um, it's best just to convert it to lower or to you know deal with it in 
a way that it will sort of ignore or change everything to your way. Um, so then else, so if if um, a file has been uploaded that's not a zip file, we can say only dot zip files are allowed. Okay, so if a zip file has been uploaded, um, we need to do another if statement to check the directory. Um, now what I have forgot to do actually, I'll show you now, is I'll just show you the directory structure what I've got. It's basically similar to the archiving one. So, um, extracting, so we've got a TMP directory here and a unzips, which will unzip everything into there and then the um, script here. So basically what we want to do in here is check if the um, if this file has the, the name of the zip file has already been unzipped and if it is we'll stop the script and say it has already been unzipped so um, no other files will get overwritten so what we can say is is underscore dir um, and we want to go into the on zips directory and we want to kind of onto that the file name um, equals false okay so basically if um, if no um, directory name is the name of the file then we can carry on else um, we're going to say um, something like file name has already been unzipped okay um, and now what I'm going to do is to actually move this file into the TMP directory so move underscore uploaded underscore file and we want to move dollar underscore files file tmp underscore name and want to move that into the tmp directory and can it onto that dot underscore files file and we want to put the uh, actual name into that so that will uh, move the file um, into the tmp directory uh, so like I said in the archiving video, the TM TMP directory may look like it's being useless, it may look like nothing's happening, but um, it's very important because this is all happening, say, under a second, so to a human, you won't see anything, but um, it actually is a useful directory. So now what we're going to do is create the zip file, so zip equals new um, zip archive. And what I've just remembered to not to do is um, check the zip in the php.ini. So if you're using WAMP server, a quick way to get to this is just left click on the icon, go to Apache, I think it's Apache, and then um, it might be PHP actually. Yeah, it's uh, go to PHP, then extensions, and then make sure the bottom one here, php underscore zip, has been checked. Your server will restart. And then once that's done, you should be able to use this zip archive. Um, I forgot to mention that at the start. Um, you can also just take rid of, just get rid of the, uh, I think it's the uh, hash or something, semi uh, semicolons or whatever in the php.ini just to, uh, you know, activate it. Um, so now we've created a zip, we need to open it, so zip, open, um, and we want to open the tmp forward slash, um, cutting it onto that, dollar underscore files, um, file, and the name. Okay, so we're going to open the zip file that has been uploaded. Now we need to create a for loop. Oh. A for loop, and basically all this does is um, it just loops through 
everything in the array I think, let me just uh, have a quick check right, um, the for loop actually loops through um, all the files that have been uploaded into the zip so it loops through each file in the zip and then extract it so basically what we could do is num equals zero um, then while num is less than zip num files okay basically the num files is a function in our or in, uh, in the zip the zip function, zip archive function that will count how many number of files is in that zip file if you know what I mean so um, so in my case I've got a zip file which I'm going to show you later and um, it's got three files in there so that value there will be replaced by three um, obviously that's going to be an error because of uh, the way we've done it but technically that's what's going on, it's, that'll be changed with a number um, so then we can say, if I just do a print underscore r just to show you what this looks like, so zip um, stat index num ok so if I just uh, try this out refresh the page, no I don't want to continue anything, um, there we go so if I just upload this um, zip file I've got here and extract it and you can see we only get only zip file allowed, it is a zip um, let me just have a quick check on that to make sure I've done something right alright the problem was um, I have not put the T on the end of the multi part there so if I save this back and I'll try it again this should work oh. alright one second uh, I'm not too sure what the problem actually was and I actually just re-uploaded the file and it somehow seemed to work um, so if you get that just try and re-upload the file um, during testing so anyway basically what I was going to show you is this print underscore r um, stat index on the actual file and um, you can actually see that this we get an array so the name we get is one um, basically it's up to there it's the first file so it just tells you some information about the file and um, basically all we need in this is the um, the name I think um, yeah is the name shut up so basically what we can do here is file info is equal to zip um, that index so basically what I've just shown you on the screen it's going to put into a file info variable um, and then we can basically just say echo um, extracting um, dot file info and the name within that array so we can say extracting similar to the archiving one where it will just echo out what is actually happening so, so which file it's actually extracting at the moment and because it's all happens in say under a second then it's just gonna seem as it's appearing at once but actually it's going through it step by step um, so we can say zip extract two at the moment we're just echoing out extracting we're not actually doing anything so now we need to extract it so we can then extract who unzips forward slash and count it onto that to the file name um, and then we can just echo out a break line just so um, a line um, happens between each um, each file so if we don't put a break it'll just appear extracting file name extracting file name all on one line whereas we want it on separate lines um, and after the for loop basically what we need to do now is just close the zip so simple as um, and then we need to delete the actual temporary 
file so the actual zip file that has been uploaded to the server we want to actually delete that um, so it's not just left on the server being taken up space and other such so unlink tmp forward slash can I on um, dollar underscore files um, you can actually let that strongly around file and the name alright so I think we should be good to go in actually this actually working so what I'm going to do is just come right back out so we start from fresh uh, what I'm going to do is just make these a bit smaller like I did with um, the other tutorial just so you can see what's happening so as you can see here's the unzipped um, directory um, and if I choose a file to upload so say this one here and if I just actually show you what is in this so if I open as you can see we've got three files and um, one is my orange account number um, my student finance number and a super casino login um, so that's what will appear in this unzips direct for here once I click extract so if I open that file extract we get some um, extracting messages up there and as you can see in the unzips directory we have the name of the zip archive in there and that contains the files that have been extracted now say if I if I just refresh this page now and if I try and upload that same file it should say tutorial has already been unzipped so there we go and if I just show you the TMP directory, nothing's been put into there. Well, it has, it's just been deleted as we have um, finally extracted all the files. So that's how to extract zip files using PHP. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.